Hey everyone, it's Kevin here from Trout River Industries. We're here today in the back of a shuttle floor trailer and we're going to make a short video showing how to adjust the 5.8 cables. Before you start this job, there's a couple things you need to keep in mind. You either need to have this trailer connected to a truck or some sort of electrical uh, hydraulic uh, power system just so you have somewhere for the oil to return as you're retracting the cylinders. In the beginning, when you get your trailer, every shuttle floor comes with a set of cable lockouts. They should be in the toolbox located on the side of the trailer. You're going to want to round these up and come back for the next step and we'll see where they get located to lock the cables out. So as you can see here, this is where the cable locks go on to lock the cable down. This is what keeps the cable tight on the drum as you're doing the adjustment. To install these, use an impact gun with a 15-16 socket and tighten down the provided bolts that are with the locks in the toolbox. The next step to adjusting these cables is to release the pressure that's in the hydraulic cylinders. You do this by rotating the knob located on the manifold in a counterclockwise position. Next you're going to find this loop of cable in here. This is excess cable that's on the, the opposite side of the lock. So you're going to cut these ties, being sure to hold the cable because it will spring. Next, using the impact gun, you're going to remove this clamp from the wedge lock. Next, using the clamp you just removed out of the wedge lock, create a loop in the cable just like this. Once you've got that done and secured, find a hammer and you'll knock this lock out of the wedge, which you'll see a, a lockout hole in the back. You can drop in a pin and that'll keep it in the position so the cable can slip around the lock. As you can see in this shot, you can see one hook that's in the loop we created in the cable. As you follow that across, you'll find the end of the come along. The other hook is into the cutout that's in the winch mounting plate. As you can see in this shot, as the come alongs are being ratcheted, you can see the slack that was in the cable being pulled out through the wedge lock and you can see the pin that's now releasing itself back to the home position. In the following shot you can see the pins are now in the home location. All the slack has been brought around the cylinder out of the wedge lock and now it's time to begin resetting things back to the standard locations. Now that we've got the uh, cylinder back in the home location, we have all the slack cable pulled around the wedge lock and uh, on this side now, what you're going to do is, uh, what I'd like to do is put the voice grips onto the, to the punch so it gives you something to tap on just to get the, to come into place. Now that the punch is removed and the lock is allowing itself to go back into place to lock the cable. Give the come alongs another couple of cranks that'll just pull that lock completely into its location and make sure that cable is good and secure. As you can see here, I removed the loop that we put in the cable to be able to adjust it with. We've put the clamp back in the wedge lock securing this cable so it cannot go anywhere and lose its tension. And then we've also tied this cable up and secured it in a location away from any moving parts. Now it's time we can uh, close the relief back off on the manifold here by turning the black knob in a clockwise rotation. It's now time to introduce hydraulic pressure back into the system. Today we're using a hydraulic power pack. Uh, you can also use a truck. Just to, for this course of the video, we use a uh, power pack. To introduce the pressure back into the system, you're going to use the tailgate function. Push it in the open position. And now you have pressure back on your cylinders and you're ready to remove the locks off the side. As you can see in the picture here, we have now removed the cable locks off the sides of the winch uh, mounting plates. 
Um, you can take these now along with the bolts and put them back in the toolbox on the side of the trailer. And that concludes our video of how to adjust the 5A cables on your shuttle floor trailer. Thanks for watching. I hope it answered maybe some big or maybe even some small uh, questions you might have before getting into the job. If there is any further information you do require, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at Trout River Industries at any time.